Hello, this is Supreet and in this video I'll talk to you about labeling your thoughts. In my last video I talked to you about observing your thoughts. While observing your thoughts and letting them go is a very effective meditation technique, but it can be helpful if we add one more step in that process, which is to label your thoughts before you let them go. So I'll share with you some ways in which you can label your thoughts. So for example, let's say when I sit down to meditate, most of the time when I get distracted by thoughts, these thoughts are to do with my to-do list, what all things I am going to be doing today after the meditation. So I would classify these type of thoughts under planning. Other types of things that you could classify your thoughts as could be remembering, when you're remembering your the day before or remembering the past. It could be judgment, when you're judging something or someone. Um, other kinds of uh, labels could be fear and so on. So in the last video, I gave you three steps, which was to observe your thought, acknowledge it, and let it go. So today what I'm suggesting is to add one more step before letting go the thought. So you observe your thought, you label it, and then you acknowledge it, and then you let it go. The labels that you give to your thoughts can also be linked to your physical sensations that you're feeling at the moment. So if you're feeling itchy, you just label it as itchy. If you're feeling pain, you just label it as pain. Or you could be feeling warm and cold. Whatever sensations you're feeling and whatever thoughts you're getting, just label those thoughts with one word. Another simple way that you could label your thoughts would be to simply label them as useful or not useful. For example, if my thought is just worrying about something, that is outside of my control, then I would label this thought as not useful. Now I'll tell you why thought labeling is a very good technique. When you label your thoughts, so let's say you're finding that most of your thoughts are not useful. What does that do? That improves your self-awareness then you might be more likely to do something, something about it, having observed that most of your thoughts are in the not useful category. This increased self-awareness helps you understand your habitual thought patterns, and it helps you break out of those habitual thought patterns if you're wanting to become more optimistic and more in control of your life. I think self-awareness is the first step towards self-improvement, which is why I'm such a big ambassador of meditation. I do not do meditation or recommend meditation for the sake of it. I recommend it and I inspire people to do it because it helps you with your self-awareness and that leads to self-improvement. And that just makes all your other aspects of your life much better, much easier. I hope you give thought labeling a try. There are other ways also to label your thoughts, but I have just give you a starting place to experiment and see which way of labeling your thoughts you enjoy the most. And whatever you like the most, whatever way of labeling your thoughts you like the most, that is the right way for you. So stick with it, experiment with it, and I hope that helps you with your self-awareness. That's all for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and let me know how thought labeling went for you when you tried it in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.